What about eternal life? June 21. The resurrection of Jesus was a sample of the final resurrection of all those who sleep in him. He, talking about a Christian or talking about a believer, uh, may die. But the life of Christ is in him. And at the resurrection of the just, uh, the Christian will rise to newness of life. The Bible in 1 John 5.11 uh, tells us uh, thus, uh, This is the record that God had given to us eternal life, and this life is in His Son. Understand that the testimony of Christ's resurrection is proof that we have eternal life in Christ. Understand that Jesus died, but He did not stay dead. Uh, Jesus died on the cross. Uh, they laid him in a tomb. But on the third day, he arose from the uh, dead. He received life. He is alive forevermore. And the testimony of the resurrection of Christ is proof that we will have everlasting life in him. Now, you might be wondering how to receive this everlasting life in Christ. It is simple. We should believe in Christ. But not only believe in Him, uh, this sort of belief in Christ should be one with action. For there is a belief uh, without action and there is a belief with action. Uh, to believe without action is what the devils believe and they tremble. But to believe in action is when a believer believes in him so much so that they surrender their lives uh, to him. We must believe with uh, action. Why not trust his word uh, today? Let us ask God for the power to believe with action. And now that is the power of his word. Father in heaven, uh, we love you and we want to believe in you. But we want to believe in you with action. We want to show you how much we believe in you. We pray that you would grant us the strength and the courage. In Jesus' name, amen. Remember, my dear friends, the power of the word every day will keep the enemy at bay.